do not delete record box 5 because record box 6 is not for everyone. Let's talk more about it. Hello DJs of YouTube, my name is Deep and I hope you guys are doing alright wherever you are. On 14th April 2020, Pirate DJ announced and released their latest offering Rekordbox version 6. Now along with the release came a lot of confusion for a lot of DJs about what is free and what is not. So watch this video till the end and you will know what exactly to expect from this brand new Rekordbox version 6 and why some of you might want to stick to version 5. Before I say anything else, I want to say one thing. This is not an update. It is an upgrade and an upgrade that a lot of people will not take advantage of. Rekordbox version 5 and Rekordbox version 6 are two completely different softwares with a lot of similarities and a few differences. For example, think of it like iPhone XR and iPhone X. Everything almost looks the same but with some minor changes. So even if you plan to go for Rekordbox 6, I still recommend that you stick on to Rekordbox 5 and do not delete that from your computer, especially if you're a DJ who has purchased some of the Rekordbox licenses earlier in the past. Now, as soon as Rekordbox released this software, everyone started posting pictures, stories, all of the information that they had to say in Facebook, Instagram, here and there, everywhere. And they all had one thing in common, and that was that Rekordbox has finally made performance mode free for everyone. Well, that is true, but it's not completely true. It is still free, but it's a free with a star mark. Now, before I speak more about Rekordbox version 6, I would like to tell more about who should stick to Rekordbox version 5 and who will have to stick to Rekordbox version 5 and Rekordbox version 6 and some of you who can easily just go for Rekordbox 6 and never bother about Rekordbox 5. And later in the video, I'll speak about the subscription plans so you understand what it means for you. If you're a DJ who uses one of their compatible DJ equipment like DJ controllers, you can go ahead and upgrade yourself to Rekordbox 6. Nothing changes for you. If you are a DJ who uses HID mode to perform using the CDJs, you will need to subscribe to one of their subscription plans to continue performing in HID mode. You will not be able to perform if you don't upgrade yourself to Rekordbox 6 and if you don't buy one of those subscription plans. But if you're a DJ who purchased one of the license keys in the past, you can still use them with Rekordbox version 5 only. And if you are a VDJ who uses Rekordbox video to perform their video sets, you too will have to subscribe to one of their subscription plans to continue using Rekordbox 6. But if you purchased a Rekordbox video extension in the past, the license key if you have that, you can still continue to use that with version 5. That will no longer be compatible with version 6. And if you were a subscriber earlier to their monthly plans, none of those are relevant. All of those will get cancelled and everyone who was using the subscription plan in version 5 will have to upgrade themselves to version 6 to continue using their subscription plans. And that too have changed. Now, let me tell you what exactly is free and what requires you to purchase a subscription plan. Downloading the software is free. They have a new website now. The old website is gone. It's very simple. I'll link it down in the description box. Go ahead and download it for free. Export mode is also free, just like before. Nothing changes. Pro DJ Link is also free with Rekordbox 6. If you don't know what Pro DJ Link is, please comment in the comment section below and I will see that comment and make sure that I create a video explaining the features of Pro DJ Link. Performance mode including video, lighting and lyric is all added for free to use within the laptop. You can also use the software for free with compatible DJ equipment like DJ controllers. But it's not free for any CDJs all the way from the old CDJ 350 to the latest CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 and XDJs. It is also not free for the DJM S9 mixer. What this means is what I told you earlier. If you're a DJ who uses CDJs and uses HID mode to perform, you will now have to subscribe to one of their monthly plans. Uh, that's a bummer 
for a lot of DJs. But if you're a DJ who purchased one of those Rekordbox license keys in the past, you can still use Rekordbox version 5 and continue to use HRD mode, but only in version 5. If you were in a subscription plan in Rekordbox version 5, all those subscriptions will be cancelled and you will have to subscribe to the latest Rekordbox version 6 subscription plans. Okay, now that you know who this Rekordbox version 6 is for, let's talk the features that Rekordbox 6 has to offer before I tell you more about the subscription plans. Rekordbox version 6 now has export mode and performance mode enabled by default as I said earlier. And the best feature is for VDJs, they can now add video tracks and audio tracks within the same playlist which was not possible earlier in Rekordbox version 5. There is a new auto relocate feature which will scan your entire laptop if there is a file missing it will search for it and it will automatically add it to the library. So there is nothing called as a missing track anymore. There is a new light mode for better visibility during the day or when you're performing outdoors and there is a new 3-band EQ waveform. Ableton Link is now added that links Rekordbox to Ableton to help live performers perform in sync between softwares. The biggest addition to this version is the new cloud library management system which works only with Dropbox right now and with the subscription plans. This means that you will have to purchase a subscription plan to use this feature. There are a few more features like the mobile library sync, the ability to add songs from SoundCloud and Beatport directly into the playlist and an all new Rekordbox iOS app for iOS 11 and above. So those are the new features. Please go ahead and download the software and see for yourself. Now let's talk about the subscription plans. Currently, there are three subscription plans that are on the website. First one is free, second is score, the third one is creative. Let me easily explain who will need what. The free plan. If you're a DJ who uses USBs to perform and if you're a DJ who uses Rekordbox only to prepare and export their tracks to perform later and never use the software itself to perform, you should be good with the free plan. Just go ahead and download the software, upgrade yourself to Rekordbox 6 and take advantage of what this new software has to offer for you. If you're a free user, you get a lot more than before. You can now test your tracks in full DJ experience using the inbuilt mixer. In fact, now you can also perform on the laptop using a mouse and connect your speakers directly to the aux port on the laptop and perform without connecting a DJ controller. This is a great advantage for people around the world who are passionate and who want to get started and wanted to understand how DJing works. As a free user, you can also access Rekordbox video, Rekordbox lyric and Rekordbox lighting to see how these features work, but you can't perform with it. It's like they're actually letting you taste the blood so that you get used to it and maybe in the future take advantage of those features. You get limited access for everything so that you can want more of it later. <laughs> Let's talk about the core plan. As I said earlier, if you're a DJ who uses Rekordbox in HID mode, you will now have to buy one of these subscription plans to unlock this feature. It's for about $7 a month right now as an introductory offer till July 13th, which is about 600 rupees in India. And it will go up to $10 later after July 13th. And that is about 800 rupees in India. But if you have one of the old license keys that you purchased against a one-time fee, you can still use the software in Rekordbox version 5 and not in Rekordbox version 6. And that is why I recommend you to stick to Rekordbox version 5 because I don't see a feature in Rekordbox version 6 that is worth taking this step for you right now. If you were able to manage till now, I'm sure you'll be able to manage it in the future as well. So stick to Rekordbox version 5 till Pioneer DJ supports it. Which I'm not sure how long they will, but you get the point. Rekordbox video and lyric is not supported. You will not have access to the cloud library management and RMX effects are not included. For that, you will have to go for the creative plan. The creative plan. This is the top tier offering from Rekordbox and Pioneer DJ. This basically unlocks all the features that Rekordbox 6 has to offer. It's for $10 a month right now as an introductory offer, as I said earlier, till July 13th. 
that's about rupees 800 in India after which it will be for $15 a month and that's about 1200 rupees in India you get all the features in this the performance mode the lyric the VDJ the cloud management system all of it in this creative plan so if you're a DJ who uses record box video you will have to go for this package basically you pay pioneer 1200 rupees a month that's about ten dollars to use their software to perform hmm that's about it those are the three plans that are currently in offering i will leave a link down in the description box for all the important things that you need to check out the compatibility the subscription plans everything is now in the description box you can go ahead and have a look at the end of this video now what are my thoughts about this new move by Pioneer? I think this was a bold move by Pioneer DJ or should I say Alpha Theta Corporation which was recently sold to a Japanese company called Noritsu Koki. I think this bold and futuristic move was a part of this new acquisition. In the business world, a subscription plan means that a lot more money is generated when compared to selling a product outright for a one-time fee. So maybe Noritsu Koki now wants to make all that money that they spent on acquiring Alpha Theta Corporation. Operation. That is a possibility and these subscription plans is the first step to that process. This is not actually all bad news. In fact, this is not a bad news at all. I think Pioneer DJ is only going to advance with their products because now they have a new business model and a lot of funding. They are now going to race faster than ever to deliver some amazing products which we will all love and celebrate. Now what are my thoughts about the subscription plans? I think whatever they're charging is fair. If you look at this model closely, the subscription plans are designed in such a way that they are only taking money from DJs and performers who charge a greater fee to perform. You may not agree with me, but this makes a lot of sense to me. Let me explain. If you're a regular DJ who performs in clubs, bars and weddings, etc., you will see that nothing's gonna change for them. They can still take their record box analyzed pen drives connected to the club equipment and do what they were doing. And if you don't use the club equipment or if you're a private party DJ or a bedroom DJ, you will most probably use one of the DJ controllers that you already own to perform. The minute you connect one of the compatible DJ controllers, Recordbox 6 is unlocked and you can perform. They know that you have already paid for the controller and a controller is useless without the software and that's why they made it free. Now if you're not a regular DJ and if you do a bit more creative DJing like using Recordbox video and lyric and all the additional features, this means that you also charge a premium to perform. If you don't charge a premium to do this, please go ahead and do that. You must charge a premium to deliver something more than usual or it also means that you use a piece of equipment that actually elevates your performance so you are charged a fee by the service provider in this case it's Pioneer DJ to use their service to make more money basically if you're a DJ who makes a lot of money using Pioneer DJ equipment Pioneer DJ is just charging you a fee for the products that you use to make that money I hope you're understanding because I really think that they have thought about this very well and made sure that they only make money from their premium clientele and all their regular users are in fact getting much more than ever for free which is a good thing. So that's about it guys. I'm sorry this video is a little bit longer than usual but I try to make it as short as possible because I wanted to make sure that I squeeze in as much information as possible so that you as a DJ will not have to go ahead and do any more research after watching this video and all your doubts are cleared. So if you think this video was helpful, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's the only thing I ask from you in return for all this information that I gave you and the knowledge that you received from me. If you want to support me even more, you can like this video and share this with your friends on Facebook. That will not only support the channel, but it will also help other DJs to understand this better. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end guys. My name is Deep and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help. I spoke a lot.